Good morning, everybody. We're out here winging it with my phone again. Um, been a crazy good summer. Uh, I've got the sweet corn behind me and we picked the last of it. It is getting too mature and I only have like six rows, six or eight rows over here uh, that I haven't mowed off and it is ready. Uh, I gotta get the tractor out. But then I'd like to show these. These were those pumpkins that got just hammered with the hail that I showed. And they're actually looking really good. They're coming back. Uh, I know there's going to be a yield ding. And you can see the weeds are coming back through it. We had it looking really good. Just went to crap. And life's crazy. Uh, work. I got to get over under the electric fence. Um, it shut off. I was safe. But we've been crazy busy with the markets. We're starting to get stuff ready for fall. Last Friday, I moved my daughter to college. Bittersweet. Uh, I'm glad, I'm sure she'll do wonderful. But it's, she's a little over three and a half hours away from home. Uh, about closer to four here <laughs> where we're at work. <laughs> Bittersweet. I wish she was closer, but I understand why she chose the school she did, so I think she'll do well. Um, it's really the first time she's lived by herself, or spent the night by herself, really, uh, since she was born. <laughs> so, it's kind of a learning experience for all of us. Uh, she's going to do wonderful. Uh, I know she will, because she will. Um, she may get homesick here in a few days, I think, but I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But we've been doing markets. We've been doing everything we can here to stay busy. Um, the wife goes back to subbing uh, tomorrow, Tuesday. This is Monday, the like 15th, 16th of August. And it has just been insane year. Been busy with everything we can. And we've added to the farm, we have a few new animals. Uh, if you're friends with me on Facebook or whatever, you probably already have an idea what I'm talking about. But we acquired a few new animals. Oh, I forgot, we had county fair in here too. My kids did really good. Uh, my daughter shown the grand champion bird at the county fair. It happened to be a duck that was given to us by a family that was moving off the farm into town and they just didn't have room to take them. So we got four ducks. She took two of the four because the one has had a bad wing since he was born so we knew it wouldn't show well. But we didn't want to leave it by itself so she chose two of them and brought them and did well with both of them. And the one happened to be the best bird in the whole poultry division for 4-H. And then they went back and did it, and so she got to walk through the Parade of Champions as the grand champion bird at the fair. Pretty sweet. And then my son got reserve champion supreme showmanship for the poultry been a busy time plus we got reserve and grand champion in eggs and 4-h and ffa so out of all four or the two ffa and two 4-h we had all four of them <laughs> makes me feel good that we're doing something right and it's just been crazy hectic here plus hopefully we'll have hay to pick up hopefully this week if not hope i mean we got to watch the weather that's what we're waiting on now my buddy's gonna mow it and square bale it for me uh we're gonna pick up 100 square bales and then we're gonna go straight to rounds uh i have my hay mover now i can move the rounds it's a lot little bit easier i don't have to with the net wrap on it i don't have to store them inside like we do the square bales and it just makes it a whole whole lot easier to find space and time and we don't have to move stuff back and forth and it'll make it a little bit easier. But let me get over here and I can show you 
our new enclosure we built for the ducks. <laughs> and they're having fun. The one eating the food is the female Welsh, Harley Quinn. She is the one that was the best of show. Um, this is a female crested something. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, it, but it's the one with the gimpy wing. And here's the male Welsh Harley Quinn. And then the other is a male Cayuga. And of course, they always have to be showy when they're out there. And then they took these uh, high lines which we have 25 ish of these now brand new just laying and then of course we have quackers oh and duckstina's in the sheds or in the little pet carrier so i can't show you her she is a female cayuga but she's really 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 getting old and then of course we got all the old ones that they've had that i've showed before but we have 25 of these and then we have some more um buff orfingtons inside the shed that i gotta get these two ducks moved so we can let them out but they are doing well and you can see we use the dog panels and we buried the swimming pool over there so they can get in and out of water because and then they have just in the matter of about four days this grass was probably almost knee high and they've got it pretty well ate to death <laughs> But they're doing really good. And then the same people that had that had two other animals, larger animals. And we were reluctant, but my five-year-old has to share them. But these are her horses. Yes, horses, we got horses, more horses. We'd had the pony and the donkey for a long, long time. They were my grandma barbs. And so Nora got the pony. Coco's a little ornery. But now we have two big horses. And big is not short on the one. They are really good guys got the bale out there um red is just a quarter horse he's the one on this side and knight is the other one he is a grula which is the coloring on him uh the family actually had him bred they are both gelding which means they are no longer boys um but the, it was born there he should be about 10 years old and he should be about 21 is what we were told and they are just been a wonderful addition here and then my grandma barb moved her horse cash over here also so that way we can help or she can help us with the other two. He's got his flying mask on. And then there's Elvis and Coco. Elvis is the donkey. If I can get my finger in the screen. Where's it at? Oh, and I'm in the wrong spot. Elvis and Coco. Um, we got them all sorted around. But the nice thing is, with getting our two big ones home, we used Grandma Barb's trailer, which is the great big four horse trailer. <laughs> Uh, so with having her around we have the access to the trailer and the knowledge that comes with the horses she's raced barrels for a long long time and has been around horses her whole life so we're learning I know very little my five-year-old is soaking it all up like a sponge um, we she has a bunch of panels that we need to go get and i think we're gonna put a round pin right in here so she can start teaching my daughter how to ride i know very little we're all going to learn together i was thinking we need like seven loads of sand in here so when i fall it 
fall on nice soft sand and don't get hurt. But this tree, that tree, and that tree may be going. They are sick. Uh, they got something wrong with them, and I feel like it's better to knock them down and get them out of here before it goes bad. That one's pretty well dead. It needs to go anyway. This one is dying. It pretty well needs to go. That one's kind of iffy. It might make it, it might not, but if we would take them four out, then we have just a little bit more room so we can get in and still get it. We're trying to save these little ones. <sighs> Lots of work. Oh, and then are my sunflowers that I put in. I'll come over and show you. I come in and sprayed the grass with Roundup. Killed the grass and the weeds off that was looking really nice. And then we come in and no-tilled with my old planter, which you can see we didn't get great stand, but we got good enough for what we were trying to do. And these things are getting close to being ready to open. Uh, they are looking way better than I thought they might with no care to them at all. Uh, I do need to come out here at the bean hook and get, knock some of this grass and the few weeds down because there is a few. But you can tell the deer have been out here because they've been eating the weeds off. Um, apparently horses like sunflowers because this patch went in just a little bit farther. About where that red bucket is, that far one. Uh, is about where they went. This is why you can see there's almost a dead spot here. Oh, and look, he's got to come visit. Maybe he'll come visit. He saw the pan. But, so the first thing they got ate when we got them out here was the sunflowers. So we mowed this so they would keep from getting in there. Hi, buddy. Oh, needs a drink. Well, since the one looked at the pan, he's the other one has to. Right red, there's nothing in there. But, any just a pretty color? Just pretty. Oh, that went in, I wanted to go out. Hit the wrong button. But, he is just a big old pretty horse, and big old horse is it. He hasn't had much work done with him. My grandpa has a friend that breaks horses and trains and we are having him sent off. Uh, he'd probably be gone right now, but his friend just had his gallbladder out and I think we're still about 20 days till he can start riding or before the doctor will give him clearance. And this one's red. He just is a great big old puppy dog. He just always has to have your attention when you're close. And we'll actually walk you, walk in between you and the other one tonight. But. They're pretty good guys. We're gonna really like having them around. We're gonna learn a lot more stuff. Gonna probably be more expensive than I anticipate. But isn't all hobbies that you get into, but my daughter's obsessed with them. Anybody that has met my daughter knows she has been obsessed with horses since pretty much the time she was born. So, She's got about 200 little toy horses in the house that she plays with and still knows all of their names. And she is just excited to be able to come out and ride these guys. And we got to do it safely. We got to get her fitted with a helmet because we've only had these two for less than two weeks. Or right at two weeks. We've had them right at two weeks. And see, look at that. He just wants to be by somebody. <laughs> He's going to walk over the fence just so he can be petted. Right, buddy? But he's a good guy. Uh, so, there may be horse videos coming soon. If you guys want to see them. If not, you may get them anyway. Um, yeah, but then we got Cash over here. He's a, he's a little bit more high-spirited than the other two. Apparently, Grandma Barb says he hasn't been rode in about two years because she just she's had some health issues. And this was one of her really, really good barrel horses. Uh, she's won saddles and stuff uh, for barrel racing. So she knows a little bit about horses. I think she's forgot more about horses than I know about horses. So we're learning. It'll be fun experience. I've always kind of been intrigued by them, but I never had a place or time to mess with them. 
I really don't have the time, but we're making the time because it'll be good for Nora. She'll have it fun with it and it'll be good. So there you go. That's kind of an update what's been going on. Lots of markets, lots of picking and washing, uh, a little bit of fun with the family. Uh, we went and when we moved Joanne, my oldest, to college, we actually camped at Lake McBride uh, up there at Cedar Rapids, or by Cedar Rapids. Uh, we camped up there for the night, and then we went to the state fair. So we all went to the state fair Saturday, come home, worked on horse fence <laughs> again, trying to get everything finished up. Ugh, I gotta get in this big old van. Now I gotta get ready to go to a farmer's market. Um, my son Jack's gonna come with me to the market because uh, the wife is gonna go grocery shopping and get stuff ready for her to go to school tomorrow. Uh, she's got a long-term subbing contract. So it sounds like she's not gonna just regularly sub off and on when they call. It sounds like she's subbing for the whole year, which is good. But it's also stressful because she also helped out here at the orchard just enough that we're like, uh, is it gonna be an issue that we're short staffed or is it gonna be good that we're, or she's busy? I think it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. I'm sure she'll do wonderful. It's just the whole up in the air, not knowing stuff is what really is gonna go on. It'll be okay, we'll get it done. We always do, it'll just might mean I'm not home quite as often yet. But lots of stuff going on, still busy. I haven't forgot about you guys. I just usually don't take the time because I don't have the time. I really shouldn't be doing this, but I'm driving and doing work while doing it. <sighs> Thanks guys. Thanks for understanding. Hopefully when we slow down a little bit, we'll actually get some stuff out in a timely fashion. Uh, some of these guys that put out videos every couple days, I have no idea how you do it. I don't have the time to do it. And that's why you don't get the most high quality videos from me. Because I don't have the time to dedicate to it because we're kind of short staffed. And being a family farm, I don't have the extra help or employees to pick up some slack of me slacking off by making videos. Because any of you that haven't done videos don't realize how much time it actually takes to film the video, set up the shots, um, edit. Editing takes forever. Some of them big guys that I know that I've talked to, um, the bigger channels, they spend like two or three hours, four hours vi uh, edit editing a half hour video. I don't have that time. I use that time when I'm not at home to uh, sleep, or when I'm not at work to sleep, pretty much. I eat supper, take a shower, and go to bed. Just, I don't have the time. Uh, but, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.